Hey guys, today I am super excited to talk to you about Deadpool and Wolverine. Listen, I just got home from my press screening of this movie and um, expectations were exceeded. Let me tell you that I went into this having seen already the first like 40-ish minutes of the movie because I did the press junket and they wanted us to see footage ahead of that. I know exactly why they stopped where they did and little did I know that this movie was just gonna keep getting better and better and better and better and better and better and more fun and more fun and more hilarious and more action-packed and have more heart as it goes on. This movie is so fantastic. It is for the fans. It is for the fans that have been around from the very beginning. I mean, I'm talking the Fox the beginning. Like, it is for us. And I'm so glad that they made this for us. And I'm so glad that Kevin Feige literally just said yes to every single thing that popped into Ryan Reynolds and Sean Levy's head. Like, fantastic. The action sequences are absolutely phenomenal. They're bloody. They push the envelope. They're insane. And then the needle drops that happen during these songs, every moment, every time there's a song, it's fantastic. But there's several action sequences, three in particular, that absolutely will stand out as like, they're they're like the best time I've had at the, at the movies, like this year for sure possibly ever uh bye 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 being one of them and then i don't want to spoil the other ones but i already talked about bye 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 on twitter so yes bye bye i'm a big in sync fan so of course i was thrilled to see that bye 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 was on the soundtrack and this sequence it's very early on it does not disappoint i think you guys are going to love it and then this is deadpool right like he goes hard he's swearing there's so many swears in this movie this is definitely an r rated movie but it's so good because it's not just an r-rated movie do you know what i'm trying to say like it's not like they're just like oh let's shove in all these jokes and these and and push boundaries just because we can like it's there for a reason it fits the story it fits who deadpool is um and speaking of the story there were several moments i cried okay like i was like uh and i i just uh, it's so good. There's moments I cried from just sheer excitement um, because of maybe certain cameos or things that happen. And then there were moments that were story related that had me really cry um, and, and hit me in the gut. I do wish that they hadn't revealed some stuff in that third trailer because half the fun here is the surprises, okay? I'm definitely gonna watch this again and again and again and again and I know I'll enjoy it every single time. I know I'll be excited to take people who haven't seen it yet to go see it so that I can watch them react to certain things. Absolutely. So I say stay off the internet. Do not let yourself be spoiled. Do not let yourself have these certain moments ruined for you. That being said, the movie is still, I, I really think it's going to stand the test of time and hold up. I think it's fantastic. It's my favorite Deadpool movie. Um, so if you've been around my channel for like a super long time, you know, I loved the first Deadpool. Absolutely loved it. I was like, yes, this is what I wanted with Deadpool. We don't talk about his first appearance. We pretend that did not happen. And then we had the first Deadpool and I thought it was fantastic. Second Deadpool, I thought was fine. I didn't love it. Um, there's a lot of stuff I didn't love about it. And so now I feel like this, it takes me back to the love I had after the first one. And like I said, I think it's better. I love how this went. I love how it weaved things in. We know the TVA is a part of this. And I love how they explained that. I love the fourth wall breaking as always. And Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds does a fantastic job of, like I said, poking fun at, at Marvel and the MCU's choices but also explaining why certain things are happening, right? And how this works, because it all works. It all comes together for a story that works and it has me so flipping excited. There's so much I wanna talk about that I can't, but I, I mean, my major things here are the action is phenomenal. The surprises, each one hits. Like I said, this is for the fans. This is for the longtime Marvel fans. You guys are gonna love it. Like the, the blood, and stuff with the action. I love, I love the soundtrack. I think the soundtrack's phenomenal. I think the needle drops in this movie are absolutely incredible, but I love the story and I love the heart. Like this is a heart movie. It's full of heart. And then there's so many hilarious jokes. Like it's so funny. I was laughing. I was, like I said, I was laughing. I was crying. I was cheering. My whole theater was cheering. This is a press screening and people are cheering for certain moments and certain exciting things because yes, there is fan service in this movie, but it's done in a way that makes sense. And that 
is what is important. This is what Multiverse of Madness should have been. Which, to be fair, and I've said it before, I enjoyed that movie, but this, oh man, it's so, it's done so, 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 so well. I think it's funny. I think the action's insane. I mean, I'm just repeating myself here because there's so many things I can't talk about, but I will tell you, each and every surprise, oh, 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 and they start early, they do, but then they really start to come after about 30 minutes, and I'm sure that is exactly why they cut us off uh, at, at about 40 minutes. They were like, all right, we aren't giving you any more, guys. We aren't giving you any more. Um, but they are just incredible. I really think Marvel fans are going to love this. I don't know how the average moviegoer is going to feel. If you don't know anything Marvel, first of all, why are you watching the third movie in a franchise? I don't know. Um, but there's so much here for the fans and it's done so extremely well. Uh, and I just, I absolutely loved it. And like I said, I love the heart. I love the story. Um, I really, I really love this. I, I really want to see more. I want to see more. Of, of Hugh and Ryan together. I want more of this. Um, there's a end credit scene, so be sure to stay tuned for that. There's a mid credit scene, I'll call it. Um, that had me crying too. You guys will know what I'm talking about when you see it, but, um, and yes, if you look at the credits, you're gonna know who, who Lady Pool is. I know many people are, are speculating and excited. That will be on there. Um, there's just a lot of fun, amazing, amazing um, su surprises in store for you guys. I'm so jealous of everyone that gets to watch this again for the first time this weekend. But check it out in theaters. Biggest screen possible. Packed theater. Just have fun. Just have an absolute blast because this is the most fun I've had in theaters in a very long time. I absolutely love this movie. Again, I'm going to watch it again and again and again and again and again. And I cannot wait till the next time I see it. You guys let me know if you're excited for Deadpool and Wolverine down below in the comments. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. Follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you guys can check me out at mamasgeeky.com. Thanks. I'll see you next time.